There we go. Alright. Welcome to another Final Fantasy stream. Snowy's here. I am here, and I am here to throw cats at people. Last time we just did some side quest stuff. Last time on... Damn it. I actually had a joke. I actually went off... While we were off stream, I went and grabbed all of the, uh... Last time on Final Fantasy 7 Kai, we found out that side quests are a thing, and then we did them. Then we get, saw Cloud get a phone call saying that his remake won't be happening anytime soon. And we were all sad. All right. And then we just played Atlas's games because Square Enix won't give, you, give us what we want. Right, anyway, we did some side quests. And now we are at Cosmo Canyon. Don't fall. Too late. Damn it. No way you see. I already went to Yeah. No, obviously your friends Snowy and Snowy are here. Look, my brain's kind of been today. It would all. It would have worked better if I first could figure out how to echo myself for that one sentence. Oh no, Teddy got tased and he's weak to being tased? Kanji gives no shits about being tased. They also absorb motherfucking ice. They can't absorb almighty though! Haha! -ha. They're dead now. But I have no SP anymore because that was an expensive spell. Oh god. See, that, that's the game I want. A spell that literally costs money. That needs to be in a game. Oh, it's called Yojimbo. Haven't you played Final Fantasy X? I actually have not. I, I've only played ten too, but like only an hour of it. Literally, my I found out that my favorite RPGs are not Square Enix RPGs. They're Atlas RPGs, so... It's Final Fantasy XII. Was... It's your favorite. Yeah, that's... Yeah, obviously, Final Fantasy XII was published by Atlas, right? That's how that works, right? I'm just messing with you. I feel like you just slap an Atlas sticker on my Final Fantasy XII copy. My copy of Final Fantasy XII just saying, Yeah, totally. Totally. Oh, God. Oh god. What? Fucking Jack Frost doll. On, a, on an arcade cabinet for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I want a Jack Frost doll. Also, there's an arcade machine in Japan for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Right. Are you sure that's not any of the. one of the demo kiosks that they seem to be bringing to almost every con? No, it looks like an arcade machine. It even has, like, arcade-style controls. It might be a demo kiosk with just those plugged in. But that's... that's a very expensive demo kiosk. I don't know. Arc Systems is very, very gung-ho about their fighting game, so they probably did the extra... did go the extra mile. 
And you know, noting that I've only played a couple of Arc System fighting games, aka the ones I could quickly buy when I heard about Crazy uh, Blaze Blue Cross Pack Battle, yeah, it's pretty good. When fighting at the mall, Yosuke realized that they went to the wrong mall and got their ass kicked. Good job, Yosuke. Good job, Yosuke. This is why we don't trust you as shit. This is why we allow Kanji to choose which mall we go to. Also, he's a pretty pretty princess, but you didn't hear it from me. How are you? I'm doing good. I have cats all over me. Please help. I can't. God damn it, Freeze. Why why are you why are you no help when the cats attack? When the cat uprising happens, you're gonna be useful. Your pigeon will be the first to go. <laughs> I don't know but I think the if that pigeon can outsmart dogs and <laughs> Okay, he might be able to outsmart dogs, but can he outsmart 30,000 cats? Also, we're just gonna say this right now. This might be an insult to all dog owners, but dogs aren't that smart. They aren't. It's not hard to trick them. Cats are over. That, that's nearly impossible. If you're trying to trick a cat, you might as well just go home. Also, when I say there are cats everywhere, I literally mean there are cats every fucking where. I didn't doubt you. I feel like I'm drowning in a sea of cats. But here's the thing, I'm perfectly okay with that. Pichu is just, is just sitting on her lap, being an adorable kitten. Also digging her claws into my leg. That's less adorable. Don't worry, I think she thinks she's hiding. Oh, sh uh, increases magic by... No, okay, blessed hands increases healing effectiveness, so you can go keep with that. I don't know who blushed your hands, but I think we just dipped them in holy water. That's how that works, right, Priest? I don't know. We, we, just, we just dip them in holy water. Have a priest bless her, her lotion. Her hand lotion. I don't know. That's how you get blessed hands. We don't, don't, don't read it into it. Ah! Your character, thank you for the host. Green! Stop hosting him! Actually, no, host him more! Host him two times over. Host him 95 times. Hello! Hi. Ow. Guess who's alive today? Yay. Oh my god, you're al Oh my god! Martin Luther King Jr.'s alive! What? He's the first dead guy I could think of. Hi, Green. <laughs> Hi. That was so what did I miss last time? Oh, Fortnite was better than I thought it'd be. You missed, you missed nothing, all you missed was side quests. You also missed nothing, all you missed was me shouting at the, at the microphone, hoping to entertain the audience that probably isn't here. Hey, don't like, say that. I was, I was scared I was going to die, like, immediately. Question, did you die at all? Uh, I did. We did not okay. win. Congratulations. Welcome to Fortnite. In which everyone in the known universe is better than you. Literally four-year-olds are better than you. How do you feel about that statement? I mean, why you gotta be so mean? I'm not being mean, except to the Fortnite community. <laughs> what do you have? What did Fortnite do to you? 
Invade my school and make sure it's not- it's everything that everyone talks about. Alright. I- I would literally like the Smash Epic Games- uh, It's a Fortnite okay, calm down, calm down, son. Also, anyway. the game I was interested in, Radical Heights, is being shut down. Literally after about two weeks of it being a thing. Yeah, not only that, but Cliffy's entire new studio is being shut down. Yep, so this is why I just sit on my ass and play Shin Megami Tensei. Pretty whatever, why would I ever want to get into a Hunger Games esque game? Shin Megami Tensei's life. Uh. You know, where you like. Uh capture things, and then fuse them together, and then pay money to get those back to fuse them more together. It's amazing. My, my main hassle with Fortnite when I've <laughs> to like get over the hurdle for it was I thought I would die immediately, and then in our first match, uh, we made it into the top 10 without seeing a single fucking person. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't know about that about Battle Royale games? You're either the first to die or you don't see anyone for about the entire fucking like, we just kept running around. I didn't see anybody for a good 30 minutes. And once we did, Tune was like, uh oh, turn around, turn around. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> sure. I'm still not interested in playing a game like that. But sounds like also, P also, Pichu is guest starring now. So, I mean, that that's new. Alright, let's see if I can find anything interesting. Uh, there was a new character in for Dissidia. What was it? Oh yeah, it's, um, Locke. Yes, it's everyone's favorite treasure hunter. Definitely which I don't know. Thief. I don't know which... I don't know why he wasn't in the game to begin with. That's a good But point. was in the game before him. What's wrong with Bart, punk? <laughs> He's in a game that no one remembers unless they played it on Game Boy? I remember. Exactly. You're talking you to the first game boy. You're talking to the person whose favorite Final Fantasy game is seven. <laughs> Red lightly. Or five. Wait, I was about to say, how did I get so? I've five? been thinking. Look, I'm playing seven right now. Shush. <laughs> so speaking of seven, apparently it got into the video game hall of fame. Oh, so, finally, after like its second time trying to get in there. I don't know if it. I would say that's the Final Fantasy game that should be in there, but. I think the first Final Fantasy of all things should be in there. I'd say I'd say that one or six. Yeah. Why do I have two copies of Erno? I think the last time Seven tried to get into the Hall of Fame, it went through the mail slot. Let's see. Uh, I'm seeing what my was... joke was horrible. No one listened to it. Don't 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 retweet it. Don't don't Snapchat it. It's horrible. Trying to see. It, so, Final Fantasy VII, Space War, Tomb Raider, John Madden Football. On, on the Video Game Hall of Fame? Not, you know, like, Mario? Or... I think Mario was already in there. Or like, or like, motherfucking... I think... It was... But yeah, that, that's what was in this year. That was a... Shin Megami Tensei If? Trying to see, was that this year? This kid is way too comfortable on my lap. So green, freeze yes. might be grinding. I might be grinding, but what are you currently doing? I'm in the not universe? grinding. I'm doing story. All right, he might be storying, but what are you doing, Green? How are you? I'm all right. All right. So there's a small problem. I have encountered a samurai. All right. And his one ability is rebellion. Oh, that's a, a We've encountered Dante and Virgil combined. And there's only one thing to do. Kick it in the face. It's dead now. Actually, no, it absorbs physical. What the fuck? You can't absorb Almighty! He absorbed Almighty. Uh-oh. Uh, apparently that, that uh, Power Rangers Reason. mobile game is getting a crossover with Street Fighter. Uh, you know, haven't you ever just wanted Ryu... Punching the Red Ranger. Please, can you can you explain me something? Yes. Actually, no, I no, I don't want to change the topic so soon. I didn't. I was done with that. No, what no, no. It? Change the topic. We don't have a topic to begin with. What's Snowy said? 
So someone linked me the humble trove stuff because four of the games are free. Right. I I want to I want you to explain to me since you have a humble monthly subscription. Does that just mean that you get all of these games if you have the subscription? Correct. You get DRM free downloads of all of those games. Oh, that makes it abundantly worth it. Even though I missed a bunch of other. Yeah, stuff. all of the that red, makes all it of the, amazingly worth it. Now all I have to do is shake my piggy bank. All of the originals, I believe, are still on there. Uh, I think we're. I think uh, the name of the new the uh, newest. Oh, the world is the the end is nigh. The end is nigh is on there. The latest. <laughs> Wait, why is the end nigh? Anymore. What did you do, Freeze? I didn't do anything. Um, what did you do this time? I, oh, a bunch of Star Wars games are on there. It's a good set of... And then, yeah, of course you get the monthly games. Alright, so update to the kitten situation. The kitten is now on my head. Help! <laughs> no, my head just keep happening. <laughs> I don't know! Help! Uno's going for, like, three bucks. Hell yeah! On I the Switch? Play. There's that new, there's that oh, there's also that humble multiplayer bundle. It's got a bunch of good games on it. All right, I'm tempted by that, but most of those games. So now I here's the bigger yeah. problem. The, the kitten is blocking the TV. All right, now she's off. And uh-huh. by most of those games, I mean a single one. Now that I look back at this, but like, it's the only it and Rocket League are the only ones I'm really interested in. I guess Besiege as well, but like, how is that multiplayer? Uh, I think that game is co-op. Isn't that just a game where you like build shit that explodes? Oh, you know, I bet you it's like building company, like build, like robot wars. I think, uh, I think, uh, Rev made a giant fire dick in that game once. I believe that has been put. I believe I've seen that before. I would. I would. I, honestly, I would just go up to the beat the average because I'm not a bracket league person. But yeah, like dick fight. The game I've heard is good. Duck fight. Their duck game is good. I've played it. Um. I uh, love Rocket League. I played it. Hover is but... o- hover is okay. I think it would be better if I had more people to play it with. <laughs> I know that I deal with some games. You know, usually when I take a look at Humble Monthly, it's like, oh, hey, a game that I kind of like, and then a bunch of other games that are really cool. And then I look at Humble Monthly this month, and it's like, Destiny 2. Yeah, I... F- I and then they pay more microtransactions. Sorry about that, everything broke. I things- don't... I feel like this. I feel like Destiny 2 being the early access. This feels like a desperate ploy from Activision to try and get people into the game before. Just, just buy yeah. the game. Buy the game. Somebody not, buy the game. I'm not gonna register that code. Buy the like, game. Like it's Wait, like how I felt about code? some of the Twitch Prime stuff. Like when they were like, "Hey, it's free Watch Dogs 2 loot." Like we don't, we didn't even know at the time if that game was gonna be good. It was, but we didn't know that. Why so, is why, why, why? wait 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 wait? There's a loot system. There's a loot box system. No, no. it was just like Twitch themed stuff for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Twitch themed stuff for your international hacker for everyone to know that he's that hacker that everyone's been talking about. I mean, it makes it, that. I think that's the only game that makes sense for for you to, especially since it takes place in San Francisco. You know what'd be cool? You know what'd be really really cool? A Twitch Prime skin for D.Va and Overwatch. I'm surprised they didn't I'd do be, that. Yeah, I'd be down yeah, for Twitch James, Prime. James, I am Overwatch. wondering why that's not a thing. I'm gonna ha- like, provided the Overwatch works the same way as all the other loot boxes that have happened recently, uh, cause like, I, I complained about it with H1Z1, but otherwise this hasn't been a problem where it's no, like, no. uh, do you ask, I can inform you, what is what is the problem you can have in the It's not a question, I'm stating the thing that's happened in the past to me. Because in H1Z1, uh, I submitted the code, but I didn't have a copy of H1Z1. I bought one later because I was like, okay, now I can put in the code uh, once I have the copy of the game, 
uh, didn't get the fucking in didn't get the uh, uh, loot, even though my accounts were connected at the time. I like I I pre like I I redeemed the Final Fantasy VII like Chocobo thing. Or sorry, dang it, Final Fantasy XV. I, go. I did it I gotta again. go be right back. I I registered the Final Fantasy XV Chocobo thing before I had fifteen, and I'm wondering if I still have access to that. Now that I, I actually know. own 15 on Steam. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go head out, watch wait. a movie. No, wait, pick a character. Pick a character for the party before you leave. Uh. Do you have Yuffie yet? Yes. Yuffie. Alright. Goodbye, okay, have fun with Deadpool. Alright. Uh, then I guess Green, pick a party member. Uh. Barrett. Alright. I just realized I should probably get the real quick thing to get all the material off of Tifa and Aerith, Aerith, whatever, before I go. Probably should have picked a healer or something, but no, nah, I just like In this game, oh. anyone can be a healer with the materia. Like, I know, like, six and five are pretty flexible, but this game, like, is almost maybe a bit too flexible. <laughs> That's not, it. not that I mind. Helps a lot with. Alright, All right, we have these MP and HP. Follow up question on the humble monthly thing. Are these codes or the trove? Yeah. Those are all uh, DRM free downloads. So they're separate downloads. And can you can you ever buy past month stuff or is that just going? Nope. Some Figures. of the stuff. Sometimes stuff will be, like all the humble originals are are in the uh, trove. So, you, so in case you missed out on like the one that uh, Way Forward made, or um, I don't think another good one. Keyboard sports is pretty fun, especially the fact that you can tweet. I think my favorite part of the keyboard sports is the fact that you can tweet out whatever you're like. The end result of whatever you're typing with the keyboard. March has some, March had some good stuff. Dark Souls. That's what, yeah, I get, like I always get some interesting stuff. Some stuff that I surprised with. Like I didn't expect One Piece Power Warriors three to be as good as it was when I got that in a in a bundle. February had Owlboy and Life is Strange. I still got that copy of oh, Life is Strange. January at Hive Swap. That would have been easy for me to get. I think I have the like extra. I always have extra codes at the end, so I think I still have that code for, uh, code for Hive Swap if you Hive Swap if you want it. Sure. I've been meaning to play that game since Ryan and MTT keep singing her praises, and I want to see like if I someone who knows fuck all about uh, uh, Homestuck can get into it. <laughs> Or if I'll just be like, oh, what the fuck is this? Why are there gray people? I forgot to unequip all the characters. Oh man, October had getting over it. Yeah, that that actually for, that was a humble. I think that was originally a humble original. But so <laughs> it's always been interesting games. And, like so, not, some of them have not been so great. Like. Dead Rising 4. Yeah, the only ones I've seen as, out of the recent ones that don't seem very interesting is like the current one and the Dead Rising one. A fucking H1Z one. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, that was a t like that was a like out of the the ones I from the last bundle I enjoy I I ended uh I have not tried Moon Hunters yet. Uh, Crazy Machines 3 is pretty fun if you like those kind of games. Uh, Dead Rising 4 was boring. I'm not installing Scarborough Space Program, because apparently at this point, it's uh, the... Eh, 
PSQ kind of ruined that game. Or no, it was 2K. 2K bought that company and they kind of ruined that game. They essentially made it, like, the POS for it is so bad that it's essentially spyware. Ruiner is fun. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm thinking of doing that at some point, or just playing it off stream. Let's see, but uh, I think NBA Playground is. I'm not a sports game guy, so I didn't really like that game. Uh, yeah. that was 2K17, right? No, uh, NBA Playgrounds was the NBA Jam trying. The game that was trying to play. Like, they tried to play like NBA Jam. Oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, I, I, I was. Well, I just took basketball. That's all I heard, and I was like, "Oh, that, that's a basketball game." I mean, I, I mean, NBA 2 K. I think we have got. There had. I think NBA, NBA, NBA 2 K 17 was one for one yeah. once. I didn't. I, I didn't bother with that one. Just like. 2 K 16. It's interesting, but it has it has a dumb story, and that's why I play it. 2K17, to my knowledge, doesn't even have that. Like, at least I'm 2K16 bad 16 at... had fucking Spike Lee. I'm bad at sports in any, in any media. I think I've distributed the material well enough. Wait, that, that like I don't really buy games anymore, and that's partially because I get all these humble games every month, so I don't really have to worry about it. I mean, but I can't, I, I can't afford this at the moment, but it is. It does seem like a good idea. My main hang up with doing these kind of things is like missing out on stuff. The only reason I dealt with the Twitch Prime missing out on stuff is because mostly it's loot. But if I miss out on like a free game in a subscription service, I don't. I'm just like, nah, nah, I don't, I don't. I, 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 I mean, Steam. luckily for the bundle itself, you usually it's usually all Steam codes, and you keep those forever. Time for a pretty FMV. First. But like the, the the trove might make me just be like, ah, okay, that's that still worth it. Cause like even if I only like all of the trove games should make up for like any games that I could have potentially missed from from uh, not getting the service earlier. Like, I don't know if they're as good, especially since most of these I haven't fucking heard of. But it, there's some good ones in here that I know would be worth it. Cat Girl Without Salad. That's a fun game. It's short, but it's a very fun game. Uh, Limbo, although that one I've already played, so... I think my one pro Like, a lot of the early games were just, here's another survival game. Here's enough. A lot, I had a lot... I ended up getting a lot of survival games from the early ones of this... of the service. That's... You didn't miss it much. And that, and that, yeah, and, that, and then they started the, like, buy if you buy it right now, or if you pay for it right now, you get the early games, and weird. Yeah. As long as I get my free games from Tweet Prime, and also they... I get the loot, but I don't really, like, I want to get as much loot as possible, but if it's for a game that I have to pay for, it, it's just fucking, ah. Uh... I'll download games that I don't care about just to get his Twitch Prime loot, just in case I ever do care about it, like RuneScape or World Warships, but like, they're like, hey, pay bucks for 
for honor just to get a twitch thing in the gym. It's like, no, I don't, I don't wanna. Did you see the new Kingdom Hearts stuff? I did not. I do not pay attention to the Kingdom Hearts stuff. Apparently, Wreck It Ralph is a summon. The game. Is this the leaks stuff? No, this, this well, like, the, uh, this it was officially in a, shown off today, but it was leaked earlier. Okay, because I saw people complaining about that. I have no personal upset with that. I was just worried about it. Yeah, apparently one of the su the first the uh, Wreck It Ralph is a summon in the game. That's pretty, and that's pretty cool. I'm hoping that means the, no wait no that that means there wouldn't be a Wreck-It Ralph world. Oh, no. Still got monsters incorporated, so that's good enough for me. I guess Toy Story, but I don't have that much attachment to Toy Story. Sorry. Oh, there's a Pokemon game that was the. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I have no idea what that's about. Do you? Uh, did we talk about Nintendo's online thing for the Switch? I think it's alright. I like how, like, Jim Sterling's like, Ah, oh, 20 bucks isn't worth this! But he's like, oh yeah, you can port things. Like, ports are okay, but 20 bucks just 20 bucks a year isn't that bad, though. Games. Yeah, for a year, yeah. Like, like PS, PS Plus is 50 a year? I understand it's not that, uh, not that much content. But like, it's twenty bucks an entire year. That's like not even a full game. That's like a Steam game. And yeah, like Ice Climbers is, is very good. But you're getting other good NES games with it. And you kept harping on Ice Climbers. I don't get why. Like Ice, Cl like I don't, I'm not, I don't like Ice Climbers at all. It's not a fun yeah. game. Most people don't like Ice Climbers, and I think that was kind of his point, but, like, there were other NES games being offered other than Ice Climbers, like... Like, Stalker. Any, any free service of games is gonna have some stinkers or some games that people don't care about, like, we were talking about Humble Monthly, Twitch Prime also has ones, like, so like, does, so does I mean, PSN, so does whatever the fuck Xbox Oh, Nintendo, like, the PS Plus is for... Especially for Vita and PS3, PS Plus has been awful for those consoles. Which makes sense as they're uh, getting rid of it soon for but PS3 and Vita. But just because there are some stinker games doesn't mean that the whole service is not worth whatever the price is. I mean, is. In, the, in the end, you need it to play online, so t the, the fact that they're giving you something for it is just a plus. Like, you're gonna give you 20 NES games, and well, yeah, you could just emulate them, like, that's only a dollar per NES game, it's plus so, the extra features that aren't that much either, but still. So the 10 that they announced were Soccer, Tennis, Donkey Kong, Mario Bros, Mar Super Mario Bros, Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, Dr. Mario, Zelda 1, and Mario 3. That's okay. I think, I... I think why a lot of people are taking the, like, are take might be taking this a bit out of hand is because this, like, uh, people are worried that this is gonna be it for, like, people are worried that the Nintendo's just gonna sort of Nintendo it and just sort of forget, like, ign kind of ignore it if it doesn't. I don't the care either way. Free stuff, free, free stuff is free stuff, and I don't really care yeah. if it's good or bad. I mean, 20, 20 bucks a year is not a reasonable price. Or 35 if you want like 7 accounts. Which is good. That's amazing that the fact that- you, and it's on- it can be on different switches as well, which is even better. Like, oh, 20 bucks is too much for just a couple of NES games, online features, and special offers coming later. It's just like, no. It's in fact it's a really good price compared to... And yet, he, he finds ports of games that people have spent 60 bucks or more on. Okay. God. What was the game that... There's a game... Oh, 
I saw someone, like, some... Because I, I just randomly follow people on YouTube. So I saw some guy that, like, basically give an overview of the Dark Souls remaster for PC. And he basically said that if you're picking it up... If you're specifically picking up it on P picking it up on PC, don't. It's not... If you already own Dark Souls, it's not worth it to pick up Dark Souls Remastered on PC specifically. Because apparently they don't really fix a lot of things. And that's a full. I mean, I, I guess PC people are getting it at a discount, but that's still, yeah, still kind of terrible. I am always, I always hate it when a company does not like makes it so that you have to pay a full price for your re-release of a game. I spe like, at I like Guacamelee. The fact that I. Like, I bought Guacamelee, like, close to launch on P PS Vita because I knew that I was going to have fun with that game, and I did! And then they announced, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the better version of it, and it's like, oh, cool, but I don't get, but you have to buy it again! Okay, then I eventually, uh, just go, oh, fine, I'll buy it on PC. And then they have Super Turbo Championship Edition, and I have to buy it again! Screw you! I mean, that's another example of a game that I just got, again, from a Humble Bundle, but it still sucks. I just think, if, as a general rule, if, if, uh, a game has a remaster, or like a remake, or it's some new edition that comes out, and it's either on the same console or within roughly five or ten years of it of another release of it. The people who bought that first release should get a discount, not it for free. I wouldn't go that far since like, usually new editions imply new content. That's not always the case. Like <laughs> Nintendo Duke, and other Duke. sources. 2K may be kind of uh, currently, but at least they gave people their own Bioshock on PC free copies of Bioshock Remastered. <laughs> like I ha I bought Bioshock on PC, and it's like, oh by the way, here's this free copy of Remastered. Thank you. That's the version that I used for when I played through the game uh, on stream. But yeah, like I think like what yeah. River City Ramp- no wait, Retro City Rampage. I always get those names confused. Like, not like, I bought that- I, I got that at launch. Or at least close to launch. And then they released, uh, Turbo Edition, and I had to pay for that again. And then it's like, oh, I'll just wait- and, and, and that guy just seemed like a jerk in general, because apparent- it looked like the only reason that he didn't port the game to Wii U is because he didn't think it was interesting. Or at least that's the reason that he stated when he announced that he's porting the game to Amiga. What? He ported the game to Amiga, but not to Wii U. The other reason that he stated is because I'll just buy the Wii version. That that no, that doesn't. That's not an excuse. Uh... Especially now that the Wii the Wii service is dead, so that game was a fake. Okay. Effectively, not on, you can't play that game on the Wii U at all. Effectively, that's why I'm not excited for his new game. Cause it's like you kind of dropped the ball multiple times. I don't care if that new game's good. I'm not interested in picking it up. Yeah, but everyone fucked over the Wii U. That's why. That's why I'm always so pissy about it. Just like I don't know. No, like speaking of like. What? Yacht Club! Yacht, Yacht Club Switch exists. Yacht Club's still releasing the Shovel Knight expansions on Wii U, and I bought that game on Wii U, and I'm I I am glad that I can just okay like King of Cards just come like Spectre Torment and uh Plague of Shadows both came out on Wii U even after the Switch was out. And King of Cards is as well. They're yeah, still supporting because... the They're still supporting the Wii U version even though the, the Switch is out and I I'm glad. That means I don't have to because play the game Yacht again. Yacht Club is like the one person who isn't dicks to Wii owners. Or, or not Wii owners. Wii U owners. That game like came no, with. No Nintendo 
Nintendo and its third party ki- uh, third party companies do not care about the Wii U. They will port whatever to the Switch just to make people forget about the Wii U. Yacht Club is only doing it because it's they an made obligation. A promise. Yeah, it's an obligation. Like you wanna talk about other thing like another thing that like Binding of Isaac never like, got never got after Binding of Isaac uh uh rebirth came out on Vita didn't get any of the updates afterwards. And that kind of sucks, because that's the only way to play that game portably, except for the Switch version now, but... But, like, uh... Bloodstain was supposed to be on Wii U, but because they didn't have a version released, they could back out of that. And right. be fuckers to anyone who had a Wii U. I mean, I'm not... Thank God I, I mean, didn't sign up it's for not the as Wii bad... Copy. I mean, the Wii U doesn't get it as bad as the Vita. Although, which... Speaking of which, the v- Sony just announced that, th- that they will be producing no more uh, cartridges for the Vita. I mean, at least the Vita had crossplay. Like, and the, the Vita. There's so many games that were announced for Vita that, like, Bioshock was announced for Vita. That never came out. Mighty Number no. 9 was announced for Vita. I'm pretty sure some people backed it just so they could play the Vita version. That never ca- That is. An enigma well, right was, now. That's less to do with Vita and more to do with Yeah, I know that's Deep yeah. Deep Silver and that company. I don't think there was a. Uh, you know what's weird? The, it's still games are still coming out for the Vita though. Dardu Valley just got a. It just got announced for a Vita port. Um, V3. Yeah, Cosmic Star mm-hmm. Heroine just got a Vita port, which I've been playing through that, and that's fun. Dang and Rapa staying loyal to it, which is honestly surprising given like how intensive that yeah, game. Yeah, Japan still sometimes. loves the Vita. Uh, the newest Persona dancing games are getting Vita ports. Persona Three dancing and Persona Five dancing. But yeah. I've barely been paying attention with Kevin, I'm sorry. Lore. Yeah. I feel bad because I don't know what's going on in the story. It's, it's hard to find uh, We learned the that. I don't know, some yeah. meteorite struck the planet and something. I feel bad for just. I don't know, I liked the discussion we had, but we kind of just ignored everything that was happening on screen. It's hard for me to really notice a story when I'm on Procom. Because, like, usually when I stream it, I'm reading it out loud. Yeah, and I don't really... Like, uh, and that's understandable that you don't. That's just, like... At the very least, I'm interacting with it directly. That's why I'm usually better with, when I'm directly playing the game than on Procom. For the story I'm still time. enjoying this game, but... Mm-hmm. Zombie Night Terror, and then fucking. So, do you still have? Are you still doing the planning talk about for E3? Are you still gonna do the comfort stuff? Probably, if uh, Twitch allows and or wants me to. 
I don't know how I'm gonna tackle that. Though. I don't know. These like there's so many E3 conferences this this year. What we've got Devolver's technically doing one. We've got Bethesda. We've got Ubisoft, EA, Square Enix, and then Xbox and Microsoft, or Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo. That's eight conferences. Although I don't think I can count. I don't think you can count. Uh, um, Devolvers as a conference. And more. Uh, I don't know. Definitely not turning in this year to watch that. Long mistake. Alright. So, in my time zone, we got EA at 1. Yeah? Yes. Which should be right before Dang and Romp. Uh, so I could probably just transition into that easily. That's probably not gonna, like, I don't, I don't, that's probably not gonna have anything interesting. Judging by, from, from what I've heard, it's all gonna be. Uh, yeah, but I like making fun of it. Like, that's fair. Like last year we had the Away Out guy. Maybe there'll be something. Oh yeah. And I'm that's the only reason I watch EA and Ubisoft's conferences is to make fun of them. Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, you, there's more. You have you have more interest in the Ubisoft one than because of Just Dance. So. Yeah. And a few other games they have, but mainly that. Like, I I wanted to make fun of the one from. Uh, 2016, I think it was, when they were announcing 2017, and they started with Queen. I was like, ah, oh, no, I can't. My heart, I can't make fun of Queen. <laughs> Trying to think, what was, was that? Wasn't it was, last it was year much just funnier. the? Wasn't last year just the, like the ninjas? Yeah. All right. Now before Which we go do the story plot, guess what time? Guess what? Guess what time it is? Piece of time. Time for more port. It's no. It's time for more Fort Condor. Wherever I put the buggy. The uh, last year was yeah. like 2015. They had uh, Jason Derulo sing, and it was fucking terrible. Like his singing, he would sound like a singer, but like he is. He's not good with the game of crowd, so and I, no one knew who he was, and I found that hilarious because I I, I kind of hated to use it. I like, missed last year's Ubisoft conference because I was at school at the time. And apparently that one, like I missed one of the actual an actual interesting conference last year, which kind of yeah. Yeah, that game just looks like it's. I have a strong feeling that game is going to feel like another Ubisoft game, but with the uh, the Beyond Good and Evil Evil list vaguely slashed on it. I don't really have a problem with open world Ruby games. Like I like Far Cry, but I don't like. Right, but at this Dark point, that's at this point, that's all they're releasing, other than Assassin's Creed. I even kind of liked Division when I had someone to fucking play with. But... I mean, and even Assassin's Creed is an is. It's just a different style of open world Ubi it's for the third person. But what? Um Far Cry 5 is an open world game where you shoot things. Uh what's it? Ghost Recon Wildlands is an open world game where you shoot things. Uh one other game. And then Assassin's Creed Origins is an open world game where you stab things. And then you've got a uh, the other uh, Tom Clancy game. Siege, Siege. That's what it was. It's Rainbow Six Siege. I heard that game got better. Not very interested in it. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to start talking about E3 until we're closer to E3, but. Like, I don't want to start speculating until we're closer to it. I have a feeling that'll take that'll be a discussion that'll take up a lot of time. So I want to save it for when it's closer. I'm just all the fucking rumors and leaks that come around this time. 
you must have. I like having a wish list. You must have hated the. Like, hey, look at this random picture on the internet. You or, must hate Canadian Walmart then. Look at this thing that I heard about from a guy. You're look at this thing that. I can't believe to be all said. the. I can't believe that of all the people who confirmed that leak, like, it was Bethesda confirming that Rage 2 is an actual thing. Like, that was the most unbelievable thing on that list was Rage 2, and then Bethesda's like, oh yeah, no, that's actually... Goodness. Yeah, it's... I just sit here and wait patiently to see what happens, because... It's gonna be interesting no matter what. Microsoft's gotta... Make a lot of... cover a lot of ground. Nintendo's probably gonna win again, but that's because I'm that's because I have a huge bias. Also Smash Bros is happening this year. I, I can't believe that there will be that they announced a Smash Bros game that is actually released in the year it was announced. <laughs> that's weird. That's a weird feeling. Well it's provided it'll come out at that time and they don't change it. No, no, nothing's on Wednesday, my friend, though. But, uh... That's only in, like, uh... I thought Wednesday was or, Nintendo. Yeah. Wednesday is Nintendo, but only for, like, nothing in the U.S. Not even anything in Europe, to my knowledge. This looks more like... Tokyo, New Zealand... Uh. Australia. I think what I'm just gonna do. Uh, I mean, those streams are those those conferences will probably last as long as your normal streams, or a bit less. What I'm going to do? We yeah, and Microsoft. I'm gonna start off with the conferences since they're just an hour before they usually start, and I'm gonna ask Lappy if we can end after after the conferences, and if she wants to join in on those conferences. I definitely want to join in on some of those conferences. Uh, Bethesda, yeah, that'll just happen when it happens, because that... Dang it, Rock... Dang it, Rock Bethesda table. Yeah, but do you care about the Bethesda conference? I'm honest, I honestly want to watch the whole thing, except for maybe the PC game show. Oh yeah, I forgot, I always forget about that, because it's always boring. Yeah, oh yeah. Two hour nothing fast. Okay, that's All not right. true. There are occasionally some things announced, but we have new hardware. What do you... We have new hardware that isn't Nvidia, so you don't care. <laughs> we have new hardware that will sell in minutes because Bitcoin miners will buy it. So yeah, Bethesda. If I'm still streaming V3, I'll ask Lappy if we can stop, and if we aren't streaming V3, I'll just go live again. Monday, I probably won't have anything, and then Tuesday, it looks like it starts a decent amount of time before I would stream anything, so... Because that's at 11. Yeah, E3 is soon, will soon be upon us.
I, I thought I thought I went on the boat by default. I don't think anything interesting released this. I think all it released this week in terms of video games were all remasters. The Cairo Warriors remaster came out. The Legacy One and Two, Legacy Collection One and Two came out on Switch th today. Uh, not today. Yeah, I'll, just nothing in terms of game releases. Or nothing important. Or nothing unless, unless unless someone can think of something that is of importance that I'm not thinking of. Battle right, fuck battle right. That's just a more blatant Overwatch from Paladins. Like the loot boxes act the fucking same. <laughs> oh, I guess the, like the news that multiple games are shutting down due to the European standard thing, like uh, Super Monday Night Combat and the uh, other game. Oh, it was Loadout. Speaking of clones of games. Oh, that was very blatantly spread. Trying to be TF2, but uh no. But edgier! When you shoot people, they blow in the blood and the more chunk. Okay, I tried playing that game. It wasn't interesting. Okay, both of both of those games are shutting due to the fact that it would cost them to it would cost both companies too much to try and change the games more to the new standard, the new European standards. fucking hot dogs and drank two full cups of tea and then uh, at like 10 o'clock when I was about to actually almost rest uh, I hear my dad just call out he's like Nick Alex dinner I was like wait what but the fact I had like four hot dogs and you tell me you guys actually grabbed dinner I didn't know about oh, this oh I know how that feels I, that has happened too many times where it's like are they getting food are they not getting food I'm so confused I'm just gonna sit here and starve I guess <laughs> so I had four hot dogs, a burger, some fries, uh, and my two teas and a soda, 
and then my mom gives me another soda. So I had to eat all of that. Yeah, I can't say that I ha that hasn't happened to me multiple before. <laughs> Has happened to me before a lot often. We've also had burgers three times in a row. Because like first we had Burger King, then we had. They got our order wrong, because they gave us a burger that said do the fucking patty. We were pissed. So make your own goddamn burger. Just like, no, that's what you're paid for. Hold on, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm just discussing what the plan is for dinner, I'm sorry. I heard your story though, don't worry. Now I'm hungry. I've never seen airplane. So I'm very curious to watch it. I guess we've had some attachment to or whatnot, like. Uh, first one, I'd seen a few episodes of Thunderbirds, so I wanted to watch all of it. And the second one, I'd seen the clips of Thunderbirds and UHF on John Street. I'm still so sad that I missed Thunderbirds. Just cause, or, no, I meant, I meant um, UHF, but. I love that movie and I'm so sad that I didn't get to watch it with anyone. The anyone else's reaction for those who hadn't seen it because... Oh man, we just had a sub-game night for D. Oh well. I'm fine with having a break from John Street. I'm fine with not having a sub-game night. Uh, yeah, like, this time we're watching... Airplane and more Captain Scarlet. More Captain Scarlet? Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know if they, I don't, I think, I don't know if they watched them. I wasn't there for you, my chat. Oh, it's Thunderbirds. Okay. But, like, I, I have no attachment to these. I haven't seen them. Let's see, I've heard of it. I've heard it's a good movie. I've always wanted to see it, but I've not had any interest. I'm Like, I've honestly gotten the same way with Vinny from Vine Sauce. Like, these streams just kind of feel all the same at this point. I think the reason I can still watch Vinny is because I don't interact with chat. I, don't I mean, I don't do that. I, like, but just watching, like, archives, like, yep, he's... Like, I started, I, 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 like, I started watching Joel, and Joel's... I like Joel's content a lot more. I like Rev. Rev is amazing. Of course, most of the other Vine Sauce teams are underrated if their names aren't Joel or Vinny. Because Nima Kuti also does some good stuff too. I've heard, of, I've, yeah, I've heard of all of them, but yeah. But my favorite right now is probably uh, Rev. 
I used to watch Fred, but then Fred, Fred made me play Warcraft and Starcraft, two games I know nothing about. Mental Gen also there, yeah. But I, I can see what you're saying. I I just I just like how relaxed he is. Like. It's not, it's not like John isn't relaxed, but like, Vinny... Hmm. I think it's all, also a bit, or similar senses of humor, that's why I reference a lot of his bits sometimes, or steal voices that he does, or do voices of my own. Yeah, I noticed that, like, watch, like, watch, like, I've made a couple of, like, reference, like, goal jokes, and, like, like especially since I've been I've been watching a lot of his the Doom contest and I've been playing through Duke Nukem so it's me Duke Nuki <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I feel like that's partially the reason why I ended up playing Duke Nukem is just because of all those shenanigans also like it was the yeah that's why I do a lot of Gordon Ramsay and Tommy Wiseau voices when I'm in agony he's like ah no don't do that uh, don't touch me no trying to think uh, <laughs> oh Duke Nukem speaking of that game that game has been hitting like a truck now that game stopped being nice and it, it's getting it's like it's the it's getting to the point where it's, it's the type of shooter where you're always at low health and they're always you're always at low health and low ammo and they're trying to hit you with any enemy under the sun. And it's not fun. Like they just introduced I just got introduced to this new basically they started throwing tanks at me. And it's not fun, especially with the low amount of ammo they give me. For stuff that would actually do good damage to those tanks. I'm getting close to the end of that game, so it's not going to be a problem for much longer. How's a? Uh, well, I guess you haven't played Zombie Night lately, but I mean, we already talked about B3 days ago. That game requires a that game looks like it requires a lot of concentration, which And honestly like I mean so does I, v I mentioned this So does V3 but you've been you've played through that game before so you at least know some stuff. I mentioned this to tune like poor zombie night terror getting fucked over, and it's never the poor thing's fault. <laughs> Unlike <'Cause>, Zelda 2. <laughs> because, like... Hmm. Zelda 2 you stopped because you couldn't, uh, with the safe foul stuff. Um... I think of any other examples. I think there's only Zelda 2. I mean, that's, uh, that's not to say that I haven't had games that I just quit on. Yeah, I don't want to ever play Bunny Must Die again. Or Fire Emblem the Blazing- or Fire Emblem Binding Blade. I got distracted by spamming emotes, sorry. Uh... Ah, that's normal. So, the deal with Zombie Night Terror. Uh, it was supposed to be gone for only a week. Uh, because... Because, uh... Because uh, DRV3 played Sonic Adventure. No, 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 Sonic Adventure. That's why it was gone for a first right. Because so I was like, okay, I had a fun time playing through the hero, mo hero mode. Might as well finish it off since it's good luck. Well, that, well, that and everyone voted right. for it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and then uh, after that was over, uh, we had to miss Mother's Day on Sunday because both Laughing and I were out for ungodly hours. So I put it on one of the 
weekday time slots because I didn't want to keep Lappy waiting for an entire week. Oh yeah, Especially- you're right. I think I think uh, it did take. I think Danganronpa V3 did take Zombie Night Terror's place before Sonic Adventure started, so you might be right on that. Right, because so you did that week where you... It's the weekend is missed, because... Yeah. I think yeah. Was it because of the marathon? That's right. Policy. Policy. Didn't you do it? So, play Zombie Night Terror for that. Then, Sonic Adventure Then we missed another day. We missed another Sunday, so we missed another Tuesday. And then Thursday, uh, some stuff happened that kind of wore me out. So I was too fucking tired to do any of this running school shit. So I was like, nope, can't do it again. And then, depending on how next Sunday will go, we might miss another day. Of, oh no, wait, because we're already going to miss one day of it anyway, because next Tuesday is my sister's graduation. So that's already out. And then if we miss. Sunday, we'll have to make a V3 again, so the poor thing just keeps getting skipped because of scheduling errors, and just, ah, uh, just like, I don't mean to keep it dragging on for this long, I want to beat it, it may not be the most fun yeah, like, game ever, but I want to, I want to stick to the dedication of it, but then, like, scheduling error after, after, like, diversion, after... Final Fantasy VI was the same way for me. Tired. Like, Final Fantasy VI, there were so many, like, in, like, oh, this is happening. Like, Final Fantasy VII hasn't had as much as that, but poor Final Fantasy VI. It's just, like, I, I, I want to beat it. I keep feeling kind of bad for making up excuses, even though I think you're the only one invested in it compared to V3 and other games I've played where, like, Five to ten people show up. Uh, well, speaking of Final Fantasy, I've been like, I, I've been deba- like, do I want to do Four Top Fiesta this year? I had a, I had a plan, but I didn't know if it would. I had a different plan, but I didn't know if it would work. Which oh, was, I'm huh? Not going to do. I am not going to do a Fiesta ever after. Well, there goes my plan. I wanted to try and walk you through that game for fun. <laughs> That sounds like a fun idea, but then I remember how that went for yeah. John, and I'm like, no, like John and I mean, almost at least all you... of his mods look not fondly on that experience. I, I mean, at least Dan you know how up. the game plays for the most. At least you know what the story is for the game for the most part. Yeah. I definitely want to try playing it in my own time before doing a fiesta of it. Because what I game. other than like because I'm because tr- I'm trying to fit it into my current streaming schedule. Because after the after Duke Nukem, which is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, after Duke Nukem is the twentieth game, no thirtieth, the thirtieth, the thirtieth game, and then I still gotta do Hollow Knight, which I promised, which I, I already promised Dry that I'd play through that. And there's still the co-op game that I want to do sometime this summer. I don't, like... I don't know when I'm going to do the... Like, am I just going to have to interrupt the playthrough to do that? Because I want to be able to finish it as soon as possible. What I did... I don't know if it's important to your schedule, but what I did was just make another time slot and do, like, two playthroughs at once. But I, I don't know, it's also been a bit overwhelming for me, I don't know if I could get this good. Because that's what happened with Dangan Rafa, like after a while I was like, oh, I don't want to bless people with Dangan Rafa, and I don't really know what to put during the weekday, so let's just do another playthrough of like, random games, like how I planned on doing, like how you suggested it, but also still keep Dangan Rafa because that was an obligation. Like spend the, like spend, like, my audience. spend the weekend, like more, for more than just like, playing pop. Like, I'm just gonna play, here's, I'm just gonna play Final Fantasy V until I get to this point, and this is the stream goal, and take out stream as long as I want to to get to that point. But, yeah, I, I can see that work. That wouldn't interrupt any playthrough, and... Yeah, I think I like that idea. Yeah, Final Fantasy, I think the Fiesta starts sometime after I get back from Portland. It's, it's gonna scare me when I find it for the second thing that's on my back. We're already almost through Ding and Rafa. So then once 
after that, it's like post game, golf with friends, Undertale, Seven Grand Steps, and then, and then there's nothing. There's nothing like on the Zelda back two. burner anymore. No, because like, no, I I said that would be a hard reset. Zelda two wasn't even supposed to be played, so like, it will have to be picked like fairly if it's going to come back up again. Both because I was I had too much on my back burner, and also because it was it was supposed to be Zombie Night Terror and Freak was not Zelda two. Yeah, four job PS to start, or re register for four job PS to start um, at the beginning of June. I need to sort out my schedule because right now it's just been like. It was supposed to be like quick streams on Monday and Fridays, basically anything on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Battle of the Backlog on Saturdays and Sundays, and then I take Wednesdays off. Because of summer, uh, it's. It's thrown that all off so fucking hard. Cause then I have days on Wednesdays where I'm like, I wanna stream, but what the fuck do I stream? It's, it's supposed to be a break day. And then there's times where I don't have anything for quick looks or whatever the fuck. A free stream. Yeah, that's what like I had the same problem with casual streams, it's like I'm stuck in casual. And now 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 I'm doing casual streams, like taking a week off between playthroughs and doing casual stuff. Like, after I'm done with Duke Nukem, I've got to make sure that I'm d to do what I promised, which is RE5, Mercenaries Mode, and Brutal Legend Multiplayer. I promised both of those, and I still haven't done them yet. I'll probably do them after I finish Duke Nukem 3D, if you're, if, if you're available, because I figured that you would want to be part of both of those. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only thing that should be a problem is, like, my usual Saturday stuff. Right, and... Or my usual weekend stuff, rather. I mean, it's a good thing. I, yeah, that's that's another reason why I don't stream on the weekend. Because you've got your DR streams and John streams on Saturdays and Sunday. Sundays I usually and, uh, end. Ryan as well. Yeah. A lot of other people that I know stream, and I don't want to interrupt those. Also, why I don't like. And I guess it's more convenient that I like. Oh, I, John streams on Wednesdays now. I don't like John streams on all the day, except. John conveniently streams on all the days that I don't, which makes it which makes it so I don't have to worry about interrupting anything important. So that's why I made one. Between that and Anime Club, that's why I made Wednesday my break day. So like, if I felt like watching John, I could, and if I was at Anime Club, I didn't have to worry about delaying stream if Dad showed up late to pick me up. <laughs> oh yeah. I I wonder, do you think I should have everyone who's in the golf videos ch show up or just anyone who has interest? You like, should see if it, you should see first and foremost if we can get everyone. Because what it was yeah, me Me, it was Kirby Bro, it was Airy, it was Trevor. Was it Trevor? It was Lineback. No. Lineback's probably gonna be the hardest to get. The six people who were playing, at least in the videos that I posted, were you, Ari, Ryan, Philip, Linebeck, and myself. And Lime then I think yeah, Taki and Kion joined us. Oh no, no, Kion was with us there. Yeah. Kion was there too. I don't know why I didn't post his links in the description then. <laughs> oh no, poor Kion. It's not like anyone watched that video anyway, other than our close friends. <laughs> Other than, I'll, I'm pretty sure multiple people have probably seen that video since Eric keeps making reference to a certain part that I will now never live down. <laughs> Huey Lewis. <laughs> hey, it's, it's good publicity. Nope. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to, so, yeah, I feel like this is a good time to end because we're right before a dungeon. Also, okay, yeah. Cause I don't want, cause I feel like this dungeon's probably gonna be a pretty long dungeon, so I don't want to get into that and have to end in the middle of it. All right, so yeah, it's a good time to end the stream here before we enter this giant maze. But if anyone, I know we were just talking about your streams, but where can they watch those streams?
Twitch.tv slash Green Power Star. All right. And then in terms of this stream, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 4 to 6, Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday, Thursday is currently Duke Nukem 3D. We're currently about, we are currently in the final episode, which has been a lot of fun and not torturous at all. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then Fridays is Final Fantasy. Uh, next week we'll be the, we will be going into the Cave of the Gill. Gill. Cave of Gee. Cave of the Gee. Yeah, that'll be next week. Uh, but until next time, good night, everybody.